teachers getting raises. You ready for that? It's about time, right? It is about time. Uh, GOP lawmakers say there's a new plan to boost Arizona's teacher pay. They're saying it wouldn't cost you a dime. Now, I don't trust, you know, Republicans. I don't trust Democrats. Um, I, I just I know that there's probably something in it for the Republicans, and that's why they're doing it. They're not doing it out of, out of the goodness of their heart because teachers are underpaid. We've got the Democrats who are against it. A part of that makes me think it's not my idea, so oh, I don't always, like it. That's totally it. Okay. Oh, wait, they could get the win. we got to stop at There's, all costs. No Somebody doubt. could benefit. I know. It's amazing. It's amazing. We can't let Republicans get away with that. So this is based on Prop 123 from the State Land Endowment Fund created yeah. at statehood. Well, that was the Ducey deal. Yeah. Yeah. That's the first. By, by the way, I think that's one of the first times I ever talked to Doug Ducey when we talked about Prop 123. This is like the land, whatever it's called. What yeah. is it again? It's the Land Endowment Fund. Okay. All right. So, so now let's not get really in the weeds here. Because it's basically it's the money. It's created to, to from the state to fund education and other yeah. basic needs. Right. So they're saying the basic need that is most important is this so it could go to other things but we want to shift this money right. directly to teachers because education is the most important thing right now well arizona teacher pay has been ranked last in the nation last it's terrible so this is when you count for wage and cost of living differences and so i am completely open to listen to what any side has to say on teacher pay and so if it's a republicans great if it's democrats great we just know that they'll both fight over it um but, Having nothing to do with whether or not actual teachers who are struggling yeah. benefit at all. Right. This has to do with who gets the win and who essentially in their heart feels like they took a loss. All right. So Republican lawmakers are proposing an average 7% pay raise. 4000 a year. Eh, it's not great. It's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. They're trying to do something. Okay. Is there more out there? I'd like to see what else is out there. And I know that she's supposed to, on a, the state of the state, she's going to come out and and roll out her plan, uh, Hobbs, on the yeah. 8th of January. But Okay. Well, uh, the average teacher in Arizona makes 56 k They say their plan will move it to about 60000 a year. That's the president, uh, Senate president. So when I, when I look at this, the, the, the pushback from the Democrats is it's not sustainable. So what does that mean? Does it mean, hey, we can get you a 7% raise, but then you're going to go – back down to what you used to have. Well, you ha it so, has to be voted on. Okay. But you're going to you're going to instead of making 56 they say you're going to on average you're probably going to make a little bit over 60, but then the Democrats say, "Yeah, but it's not sustainable and it'll go back under 60." Unless unless the uh, but the thing is the Republicans want to get on the ballot next year. If they uh -huh. got it on the ballot, then they would probably keep this more permanent. But, you know, do they want this on the ballot next year? Is there going to be a fight to keep this on the ballot because it would look like a loss? I, I mean, it's not enough. It's better than nothing. What was the thing last year where they wanted to give all teachers at least a well, that was a, That was actually a Republican that came up yeah, with it. Yeah, and remember that? They were like, no, because the people would look. So you'd rather have them have 100% of nothing yeah. than an extra ten grand for a year or two. Yeah, I mean, we're a long ways from 20% 20, 20 in 2020, right? Yeah. Oh, we're a ways long yeah. away from that. And we lose teachers every day. We lose teachers every single day. And the reason is they're not getting paid. And they're going elsewhere to other states that they're are going paying to other better. They're going professions. Yeah. I read a great article today where uh, one of the big teacher the, the recruitment companies, it was the Wall Street Journal, saying, hey, you know what? We used to come and it was, yeah, you would make okay money, but it was about passion. And you talk to these people and they're like, I'm super passionate about it, but you know what? I don't care about passion anymore. They're going to pay me 120000 a year. You're going to offer me seventy five somewhere else. I don't care about that. Yeah, I've seen younger teachers leave after just a few years saying, uh, the only way that this is worth it is if I stay in it for my entire career. Yeah. And if I stay in it for my entire career, I'm going to have a heart attack. It's too hard. No, it's not worth it. Parents are pain in the rear end. The kids are worse than ever. They, I mean, they just, they're, they're, the, the, there's no discipline anymore. No. Uh-uh. No. It's crazy. Zero. All right. So we'll keep our eye on the possible teachers raise here in Arizona.